guys welcome back to the channel all right so this is kind of a last minute review i apologize this might be a little bit shorter than my typical reviews um but i just happened to get a hold of um the 2021 mercedes gla 250. um this one is a formatic all-wheel drive um it has the premium package but we're gonna go inside i'm gonna take a look at it i'm gonna give you guys a walk around um, just a quick overview of the car it is um i think it'll be a fun commuter car i think if you don't need a lot of space if you don't require if it's just a you know single person maybe an occasional uh, occupant you just want a you know nicer upscale commuter car this is actually not too bad um you get a nice a list of standard features and with the 2021s you get the updated um mercedes user uh experience which i think they call it mbux I believe M M B M bucks. So M bucks, uh, Mercedes user, um, Mercedes Benz user experience has the uh, full screen with the command, you know, basically the command screen that goes the length of the dashboard. This one's finished off in a mountain gray metallic. Uh, all right. Um, I can appreciate the new updated. I believe the GLA was getting a little bit long in the tooth. It was I'm not saying it was bad, but with the other Mercedes. Uh, product being updated this one definitely was next on the list and i'd like to see the glc also receive an update um you know you get the nice nicer softer looking um uh, mercedes headlights these are led headlight led high beam and there's also led fog light now if you don't want say for example if you don't want to say um the, that that front because right now this is kind of like your more basic front end there is an amg line you can get and also mercedes is eventually going to offer um a amg they might already actually i think they already have one i think i've seen at the dealership is the amg 35 um that has more power more aggressive um just looks you know overall just more powerful these are the standard uh, 18 inch wheels okay like I always start my reviews off with the key uh, this is Mercedes updated key I I like this one um, the other one like I said was your traditional key you should put into the ignition with their previous generation so they've kind of matched what they were doing with the other vehicles as far as um, you know, just giving updated key. You have your lock, unlock, trunk button, and the back. Uh, this is a service loaner, so I'm just reviewing it now. So this one has the $1,700 premium package. So with that, you're gonna get uh, the keyless go by leaving the key fob in my pocket. Um, I can then just use here, touch this little square. I can lock the vehicle. Uh, side view mirrors fold in. And also, I have the same thing on the rear door as well as the trunk. I can unlock and lock the vehicle. Uh, well, actually, with the trunk, you can lock it separately. But there's a button here where you can lock it. So by hitting this button here, I can, it closes the trunk and locks it simultaneously. So once it shuts, it'll do a full... And it locks. All right, so getting into the vehicle, just unlocking it, just put it in your hand here, you can get in. And let's take a look at the interior, just look at some of the additional touches they did here with this. Um, I got the faux leather, or I don't even call it leather, just a, the faux, well, faux stitching. This is stitched, stitched uh, contrast stitching right here right across the top. Um, coming down here, you can see the it's two tones, so you get the black uh, top, and then you have whatever color of uh, interior color of choice you choose. Uh, all four windows are power, uh, up and down. And then you have power folding mirrors. That's also with the premium package. Um, it's got heated uh, seats. That is a five hundred dollar uh, individual add-on, and I believe this is like a natural wood grain. I'm gonna put this here in the bottom of the screen so you guys can. I'm just gonna put all the options in here. Uh, memory seats, both driver and passenger, um, standard audio system. Um, I believe you can upgrade to a Burmeister. I'll double check that. 
um, you have a tall cup holder here in the door and of course a big large uh, cubby that goes way back in there up here you have your light control electronic parking brake here and you have your automatic headlights these are fully automatic headlights which means um, they not only turn on dusk and dawn but when the wipers are on and it detects rain it'll activate your headlights um, you have your parking light and you have your roadside marking lights um, this is your um, front fog light this is your rear fog light and if I come into the driver's seat let's get in here you have uh, auto dimming review mirrors both mirrors I don't say both mirrors I think just the driver's side mirror dims out as well as the review mirror um, that is part of the premium package as well uh, individual add-on up here is the garage door opener this is you know for your home link uh, garage gates things like that anything is home link compatible so and going across here you got your climate control set uh, buttons here and you have your um, just look like a cubby I'm assuming if you option and get the uh, wireless charging this is where your tray would be for your wireless charging um, to have a total outlet you have a USB-C uh, fast charges like a they could charge a phone or tablet with the USB-C have cup holder um, and then you can actually if you need to make it smaller you can adjust and then do that to get it if you have a smaller cup in here and they pop back in there obviously you can do it automatically or if you set a big cup in here I'm assuming they just lock back in um, you have the updated controller here yeah you, you know it's um, new touch control uh, it's got tactile feedback it's very nice um, you get your direct car buttons down here and then you have your um, obviously dedicated map media and telephone uh, this vehicle does not have navigation it is a separate multimedia option but it is available and you just have just a place when you're doing doing this you can rest your hand here going through the top through this here um, you have another USB port in there and I think that's that's all you have that's all you have just another USB port a quick overview of what's going on all right so I have a good amount of room in here um, I'm 5'8 I eight. i do not feel like this car is super cramped I actually feel like it's more spacious than the previous generation the wheel comes out tilts telescopes to you um, my only complaint I feel like this screen is a tad bit lower depending on how you have the wheel there could block out a few things you know if I'm like if I'm like a person who likes the wheel really low then I'm have to look in under to see exactly where it is but I mean I understand this is a GL this is a GLA this is an a class but I would like to see it's just a slightly bigger screen just a just a maybe an a inch or half inch larger you know or, you know like I said this the screen is big enough but the actual display is smaller maybe go out to the edge i you know i said i'm just not sure very minor complaint um you have paddle shifters back here too i doubt, I doubt anyone would use these and of course you have your cruise controls on the steering wheel and your favorite here you have your lumbar adjustments the seat controls are on the door um you do have a, a thigh extension if you need it's all manual just hit the little lever and then you can adjust it to where you need it and that's it and let's get into the car graphics we start it up it has new mercedes face not exactly this vehicle or maybe this vehicle to the, the front end and of course and if i wanted to i can hit start system and then i can just play with the infotainment that way um it's all touch screen or i can operate it here and there's tactile feedback um, like I say you got direct connections you can go directly to do certain things you can hit the home screen 
and go back. So let's turn this thing on, put your foot on the brake, and then press start button. I feel like I have an updated Mercedes chime as well. So if you come through here, I'll show you guys a couple of neat features with this. Um, it's got this comfort seat, what do they call it, kinetics. So hitting this. And you can choose um, the seat just adjusts every, every now and then. I think the, the backrest, the um, seat part, it moves occasionally. And I think that's just to keep you, you know, I like guess more comfortable. You can do it driver or passenger, you can stop it and go from there. But um, I haven't really did like a long road trip to really notice if that's anything beneficial, but that's just there if you need that. Um, if you come across here, and there's another way quickly I may just go to see kinetics and then you can just pretty much come right to that screen. Um, coming through here, you have your obviously your, your gauges. Sorry, there's I apologize, there's a big glare here. Um, but you see the vehicle information. Um, if I press the brake, the harder I press the brake pedal. wheel turn I try to move out of the Sun so you guys can see but when you drive around it tells you basically which wheels have there we go we're out of place the orange tells you which wheels are getting the power and obviously which direction they're pointing into so if I'm moving around you can see that that's just pretty cool and it tells you the degree of turn angle that they're in. Um, if you come in through here, so you see you got a few different gauges. You have your, let's go to park, your, your sport gauges, um, obviously your consumption, and of course your owner's manual. Uh, I'm gonna turn that off, I don't like that. So I'm gonna turn that off. And let's come in through here, get your phone connections. You have driver profile set. There was one setting in here that I wanted to show you. Vehicle. Nope, that wasn't it. There we go. It's quick access. So hitting here, this button takes me to the screen. This is the only way you can go in and disable the traction control. So go in here, disable the traction control system if you need to. And then here you can activate your hill descent uh, control. And it also pops up over here. We're gonna cover this a little bit separately. Um, but then you have all of your driver assistance options in here. Blind spot vehicle, the automatic seat adjustment, um, rear camera. You can open the camera cover if you need to clean it or service it. Uh, the rear camera is tucked in underneath. Uh, there's a 64 uh, color ambient lighting system that is an option with this. So if you guys want that, that ambient lighting, this is where you have the option for that. Designs and display, you can choose that. And you also, you can do it, some of the stuff to here, but I'll show you. You can do classic, sport, Progressive. Um, that's just certain themes you have. For this, obviously, sport is more sport. Classic. All right. So all that can be done through here. Get your home screen right there. Or you can do steering wheel controls. You can just pressure, or you can go through, or you can go through your, let's see, let's turn it off, let's mute that. Um, so I'm gonna go through, and I just, this is all a little slider. Don't want to get copyright striked. 
back home and I can just swipe to go and I can come down to do certain things you know go back and then there's a back button so yeah it's um, like everything can be done hands free like keep your hand in the wheel or you can do it here like I said a passenger can manipulate it there down there if you need to but a lot of things you can do here uh, Apple CarPlay Android Auto is standard and let's turn off that hill that's in control you have certain themes you can choose from so if I want to choose a trip or you know I just want to experience you know uh, sporty it's going to get all that program for me through here just by choosing the theme and it automatically choose obviously the sport selection it's selected you know obviously now I'm gonna see my my sport gauges everything's going to tell me it's gonna see the turbocharge uh, boost gauge it gives you a you know quick access to say like you know some people don't know how to configure the car say you know I, I just want to you know I guess it's somebody like you know I want a super sporty experience I can go back come back down to themes or say you know what give me an efficient mode right goes down to eco mode gives it that progressive but then it changes the gauges to something like this it's pretty cool and then here is a fun little game you could play because you'll get bonus miles and you know you want to hear in coasting and it you know have the little gauges down there to show you that um, and of course when you're driving around it shows the charge when you're putting charge back into your battery when you're doing um, your auto start stop um, let's go back I'll show you. Let's, let's just go through the themes I'm just curious to see what lounge looks like so lounge turned on the radio standard Now and also you can create your own, so it doesn't you have to use these presets. You can kind of manipulate and pick your own theme if you want. Now over here, because you know you have a setting here, so coming to this side of the steering wheel, you have a setting right here, and I can slide, I can choose. Um, so all I'm doing here, let's go back. I can select what I want to see for this gauge, I can customize it. And driver assistance looks like and the format it you can see what the all-wheel drive is doing as far as which wheels are getting the power um, go if you like to see something like that sliding over to the middle you can change that up speed uh, you can see a lot of different options here You go to the left side you can change that if you want that o'clock um, so it, it's customizable to the driver the driver can choose if they want to basically see like all their all the gauges or someone who just wants to have radio and just drive the car right you just drive the car you'll need to see the tachometer well, you know, if it's what it's doing if you just drive you know, everything in automatic mode um, so you have different options there to choose from. Now if I come over here, I can change the middle part. And also when I come down to where you see display, this is where I can change the display individually. Um, I can go to have more the trip information. I can press the home and swipe over and say, okay, show me navigation stuff. Navigation is unavailable because this car doesn't have it. Um, or I could change the designs and I say you know what give me sport give me and you also have like sporty eco gauges too right so there's a lot of different customizations coming through here you have an option for your wipers so you can choose um, this is a rain sensing wiper standard 
you can go this is off this is l the least sensitive this is more sensitive and this is constant low and then constant high and then these button this rocker button here is your um, rear wiper you know this is just to turn it on this is just to uh, wash it with water or wash it fluid not water but I don't know why I said that when you turn your headlights on uh, say for example it's in parking you'll see the, the gate the information right there in the bottom bottom right when you go to headlight changes the headlight and then when you go to high beam changes the high beam back to auto and of course you get fog and rear fog um, to shift this car out of drive put in the brake click down and drive that's it I go to reverse press all the way up reverse and then we go to park that's it now we hear in reverse you have a clear backup cameras high resolution you have guidance markers and you can go up to a wide angle backup camera if you need or standard and back to park climate control simple automatic climate control you can just go to here there's a climate control menu um, you can do touch screen if you want or you can just click these rocker switches and then here you have um, basically everything that you can see here you're gonna see down at the bottom um, I don't see anything really that would change it looks like to change the direction of the vents you'll do that here through the climate menu I don't see that option and then you can go to a quick off then coming here I'll show you guys my cup holder this is so it fits this is a large tumbler fits in here uh, um, this has the optional panoramic sunroof so in that right there opens your shade. Large, large glass. I mean, the whole thing is almost glass, minus this little support beam. Uh, you can tilt it, and you can open it. To see if it has a set place of stops. So it stops here, here, and I can't go any further than that. Rear glass does not open. I see up no, more buttons up here. You have your um, Mercedes uh, Me, I guess that's your concierge, and then that's your emergency like OnStar services here. You have more reading lights, uh, map lights. This is your dome light. They're all LED. So vanity, you got dual vanity. Glove box. Soft. Uh, memory seats, power memory seats, and heated seats, obviously in the passenger side as well. And let's check out the space in the back seat. So, here, um, this is where my seat position is. And I have, I have a lot of room. A lot of headroom. It's pretty spacious back here, especially with the panoramic roof. It really gives a open feeling. Um, I do have a couple of air vents back here. I don't believe there's any option for um, any climate control settings. There's two USB um, fast charging, and then there's a small uh, 115 volt charger. So someone could charge. I'm not sure what they could put back here. I'm not sure what, what you would use. Maybe small, because most lap, I mean, most small computers now, like a laptop or something, if it's a Mac, it's going to use a uh, USB C, but it's the options there. It's so cup holders. There's one in the door, both in the doors, but I don't see a center one. Nope. There isn't a cup holder in the middle, so the only. Your friends might have to put the drinks here inside of the door. Um, that's it. So here, um, my suitcase doesn't fit, but it's there. I could turn it to the side, stack it up, probably remove this cover and stack it. 
and then of course you can then fold the seats down. They are a 60-40-60, or sorry, yeah, 60-40-60 split. They fold all the way down. You can adjust both all the both sides to come down. They fold nearly flat to the floor. And then you have the small uh, pass-through. Could not fit two suitcases in here. Maybe if I take this off, I could stack, but then I worry about the hatch closing. So I'm gonna say one large suitcase, maybe a carry-on on the side. And here's an idea how it sits next to my X5 in the garage. So they're both even in the front. That's how it fits in the garage. Now when I drive it, um, just starting off, I notice a few things like, even before I knew it was dual clutch, it, it does get a slight hesitation, like it is, you know, a dual clutch transmission. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but when you let out the brake, there's that, that, that second delay where the clutch engages and it rolls forward. So if I step, if I just kind of step off the brake for a minute, we'll start stop kicking in. And I said, okay, let me turn this off. So, so I said, okay, I'm stuck with the brake. Yeah, you, you can feel and hear that the RPMs raise and drop while it does this um, this thing. Not, like I said, it's not a bad thing. I've noticed this a lot on the Audis. The Q5, for example, does the exact same thing. Doesn't affect drivability at all. And I think actually, it helps the vehicle perform better because you're putting more power directly to the ground instead of going through a torque converter. Um, ride is nice, and then when I'm, when I'm driving it, I have a taller view um, of the road. It's not like a car where I'm sitting you know, like, like on a Civic where I'm down on the ground. I'm actually sitting higher. So I'm sitting just enough to where I can, you know, I feel comfortable. I'm not driving an oversized vehicle, but I'm not driving something super small. Turn signal. Um, the sound itself is loud.
I want to see how well it does a U-turn. I'm going to make a U-turn right here. Let's see what happens. If I can whip this thing around real quick. Did I make it to the edge? Yes, I made it. 